Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spyro the Dragon Reignited. Developed by Toys for Bob, who I believe was doing the latest uh, Spyro game or whatever, but then they got. They got it. Yeah, and it uses the Unreal Engine, and it does a fantastic job with it, too. It looks beautiful. This game looks gorgeous. It looks so good. It's like a fucking Pixar game, basically, like with Pixar graphics. I love the design for Spyro. I love everything about this remake, and I've only played through the the first um, Spyro game. I haven't even played Ripto's Rage or Year of the Dragon yet. But here I am, ready to give you this walkthrough, and... Uh, here we are at the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I'm playing it on the Xbox One. Because you know me, I'm an Xbox guy. You gotta accept these terms and whatever. So I'm just gonna bump my way. I'm gonna right bumper my way down to the bottom of this list. Except, let's go ahead and start this game. Save slot three. Because that's what I do. So yeah, this is how you choose your game. It's beautiful, isn't it? It looks so good. Oh man. Ah, alright. Well, anyway, we're doing the first game. The series will be a little over 20 episodes. I'm going to be doing one episode, uh, or one world per, or one level per episode. I'm sorry. And I'll go over everything that I'm going to get here in a minute after this um, opening cutscene, which is kind of lengthy. It's not kind of lengthy. That's totally, that's bullshit. I don't know why I said that. It's not long at all. But yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to go for 100% completion. And I'm going to show you how to get every achievement in this game, which is something I have not done in one of my walkthroughs yet. So, here we go. Okay, rolling. Uh, uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> for a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? Yeah. What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? Simple? He's been contained <laughs> in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? ugly? That does it! Yeah, that was kind of... that went a little too far. Now you're just attacking his character. <laughs> Instead of his argument, cheese. Huh? Looks like I've got some things to do. <laughs> Man, the new Spyro design looks sick. I love it. I love it. This game is so good. It's just like the Crash Insane in in Insane trilogy. Insanity trilogy? Insane? I don't know. It's just like that though. Um, and that was a fantastic remix. So here we go. This is the Artisan's home world. It's gorgeous. Ooh, boy, but we're not going to explore most of it, actually, really any of it this episode. In fact, we're just going to grab this first dragon here, named Nestor. Who seems to be a judge of some sort, or maybe a sculptor, I guess. Not a Thank judge. You for releasing me, Spyro. This is the artisan. Treat ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. All right. And then this uh, fairy will pop up and she'll save your progress. So, Hi, you can replay the dragon if you go up to it and press Y. I'm not going to do that. Start will pause the game. I'm going to go down to options real quick. And I'm going to turn the map on. This is something that's new. It's going to help us out a lot. Here's the camera. You can uh, invert it. I'm going to go ahead and, or no, wait, I'm not going to do that. My bad. I do not want to do that. But the flight is inverted, which really sucks, and I hate that. You make it passive, invert it, stuff like that. Mess with the sound. Music reignited. Oh, you can do the original. I didn't know that. I don't know what dynamic means in the volumes. Uh, okay, so, and then the controls, you can go to the classic control scheme, the retro controls, which I think I am going to do. So it doesn't change up too much. The right trigger just becomes your flame attack, and you can pull the camera behind you with the left trigger. As to where the left and right triggers just rotate the camera. And that way I won't accidentally use the flame attack when I click the uh, right, right trigger on accident or something if things get crazy. You also have the guidebook here, which will show you now how many dragons you have and uh, gems you have collected. As well as dragon eggs when we get to that point. 
will show you how many of those you've collected in the world. Uh, we only have the first world right now. If you press Y, you'll go to skill points, and this will show you all the skill points. There's one here in the home world, but we'll get that next episode. We're going to find the burnt or the hidden pink tulip in Stone Hill this episode. In fact, this episode, we're just going to go to Stone Hill. So left stick moves, right stick moves the camera around freely, which was not in the original. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's go ahead and we're just going to grab these real quick. And let these, these norks run off. We'll deal with you guys later. We're just going to enter Stone Hill. Next episode, since the uh, Dark Hollow is kind of small, we're going to collect mostly everything in the Artisan Homeworld, and that's what we'll do the collecting there. So you can move up and down while you're flying. You can also flame. You can spin if you want. The bumpers. Flame attack. No charging, though. You can fly down. You can fly up. So this is also new. Instead of Spyro just willy-nilly gliding through the air all free, um, <laughs> you can move them up and down. So we have one skill point, it's burn the hidden pink tulip, and we have the achievement for this level. There's an achievement for each level and each home world, where we have to flame ten fodder sheep. So we're going to go ahead and start off by running around here. Oh, jeez. One thing I want to note is that I feel like Sparks doesn't collect gems as well as he did in the original, so heads up on that. Uh, this will lead you to the stage's exit, we'll get to that later. It's a pretty interesting stage. It's a great classic, like, first stage. Oh, there it is. So where'd he go? So let's head in here. I'm gonna take this little side route real quick. If you charge into chests, the gems will fly towards you if you flame them, which I'll... They kind of just drop, so I like to kind of charge them because that way it guarantees you collect the gem. If you press the left thumbstick, um... It'll... This is also new. <laughs> Sparks will direct you towards wherever treasure there is... Whatever treasure there is left in the level. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Wah, wah. That motherfucker is the one that pissed off Nasty Nork, too. What was his name? Nelbin? What's his... It tells you, oh, Lindar, <laughs> Nelbin. <laughs> it tells you their names, too, so that's really cool. I love the new guidebook. Um, much better than the original. All the original did was tell you how many were left. All right, so we got to flame these sheep for the achievement. you got to get ten of them for it, so let's make sure we grab those. Get all this treasure. I think we cleared out the central area. We're not going to drop down there yet, because we want the key in order to access the locked chest. Yeah, that motherfucker's the reason everyone's in this problem. He called him ugly. It's like, dude, you went too far. Just gonna grab these. Make the rounds all the way around the outskirts. Here's some more sheep. Let's see, we burned three in that other room. There's five right here, so it's gonna be eight total. So sparks will change colors if you get hit by the enemies. Um, yellow or golden or whatever means he's at full, or your Spyro is at full health. When he drops to blue, that means he's taking one hit. When he drops to green, he's taking two hits. And when he disappears, that means Spyro's taking three hits. And if you take one more, you're gonna die. So make sure that you kill fodder creatures like the sheep for this world in order to uh, keep him healthy. This is something new as well. When he was golden in the original game, he did not chase after the butterflies, so be aware of that. Um, okay, only two more fodder sheep to go for that achievement. We're going to shoot on up here, though. And check out this dragon. Gildas. Big-ass paintbrush. Friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Oh yeah, I also forgot to say that the flame is the B or circle button. Triangles to look around, or Y. Square, X. Well, I guess X on the Xbox, square on the PlayStation is the charge, and, you know, AX is to jump. Well, let's glide down here. I forgot to go over the controls earlier. I'm trying to do somewhat of a new format, be more informative, and kind of treat these walkthroughs as if it's everyone's first time having gone through the game so I want to keep that more in mind and be more descriptive and take more general easy route not easy but more general routes that people 
can access, you know, maybe. Uh, there could be a point where you lose some gems. And, you know, you can use sparks to direct you to them, but they'll probably be up in this area. Um, here's the hidden pink tulip, by the way. It's right there. We're going to go ahead and burn that and get the skill point. It's right across, basically, from the other building over here. There's one more. Oh, wait. I think I need to kill one more fodder. Or burn him. I don't think... Uh, I don't know if charging works. The egg thieves are a little bit trickier, I've also noticed, from the original. So... Oh, my goodness. He's getting away. So I'm going to have to, like, cut him off with a flame attack. Close enough. There we go. Nice. Our first egg thief. Yeah, they'll taunt you and then run away. There's 12 eggs total in the game. We're going to get all three of them by uh, by the third world. There we go. I think you have to flame them. But uh, there's the achievement for it. Woo! It's our first achievement, right? We didn't get another achievement yet, have we? Not for, like, picking up our first dragon or anything. All right, make sure you grab all the gems surrounding this building. Uh, or the, the balcony part. I guess I should... Be more specific, the balcony part. There's the central hub. Oh yeah, you can't go up there. Oh god. Alright. Let's check out this upper area up here. I'm gonna hug the inner inner part real quick. Oh wow, how did I not grab these? I guess I didn't see them. We were in this area, so yeah, alright, there's the inner part, now I'm gonna hug the outer part on the way back around. This is cool that you can hop up here and kind of explore outside the level. This blew my mind when I was younger. I was like, oh, it's like exploring the outside level, because I like looking at shit off in the distance, like that castle over there, see that shit? I wanna go explore that, I wanna go check that out, I wanna go see what those towers have. And that shit, like, it's, I don't know. I just always love that. I like seeing stuff off in the distance. In areas that you're going to explore or have explored, even though we're not going to explore those. Then there's the water. It just helps you build the world more, you know, connect it all. Make it more cohesive. Alright. Just want to make sure there's no gems behind that tower. Okay, cool. So we're going to head over here. This will basically take us to the end of the level, but we're not going to... We're not going to hop in that return home portal. Or whirlwind yet, not portal, that whirlwind yet. Because we got this little beach area to explore, and there's a key. This is going to be our first key. Keys look a lot better, too, in this game. Massive improvement. Those silver chests you have to charge, the regular chests you have to flame. I'm sure you... It's going to be hard for me to, like, talk about a lot of this stuff now, because I'm... I don't know, I just feel like a lot of it's common sense. And, like, having been playing video games for probably, I'd say, at least 25 years now at this point. We'll get that dragon on the way out. We can grab it now if you need a checkpoint. I don't know. I'm going to get it on the way out, though. But, like, I'm able to pick up a game and automatically know what traits it has in store based off of the genre. And, like, I can pick up any first-person shooter and basically automatically know the controls for it, you know? Just any first-person shooter just because I've been gaming for so long and I've been there for the change in the control scheme and the way it all works. So hopefully this is all the gems. No, it's not missing six. Ugh, that sucks! Once Where the could they be? Flies, Spyro, his color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Yeah, I already went over that with everyone. We talked about it, fool. See, I checked up top too, so I would feel I feel like there wouldn't be any. Well, it'd have to be up top then, I guess. The dragon's gonna be my reward for finding these last uh, six gems. All right, well let's check out this <laughs> room just in case. What a pain in the ass, man! So it's right above me. All right. Oh, I see him. Fuck! Alright. I'll go grab those. Six. Well, there's only three, though. I only saw three. So what's good on that? I guess we'll grab those and then sparks. Well, this is nice, too. It didn't do that in the original, so that's wonderful that they added that mechanic. Very much so appreciate it. Makes it easier for uh, 
the walkthrough. Kind of like that map, too. That's a new mechanic, and that's going to make the, the walkthrough much easier to follow. I also feel like... <laughs> These levels are a lot smaller when you look at the when you have the map up. The the levels appear a lot smaller. I guess I totally missed uh, this spot. So none in this area. This is what I was talking about earlier. Maybe. Oh, there they are. Jeez, man. Woo! Okay. Oh, boy. Alright. Anyway, let's get this dragon, and then that's going to 100% complete the level. And we'll be out of here. After you Why'd Discord open up? Close. Not supposed to be open. This fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No, thanks. See ya! See ya! All dragons found. That's five now, including the one from Artisan's Homeworld. 100% level complete. We, we can go to this and it'll give you all your stats. Um, and then, yeah, let's go ahead and just exit out of here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, yeah, each episode's going to be between 15 and 20 minutes long. We're going to explore parts of the homeworld as we get to each level. That's how I'll kind of extend the episodes, because each level isn't going to be super long or anything. It'll be like probably 10 minutes at most, except for maybe some of the later trickier levels. But uh, we're going to explore parts of the homeworld as we get to the levels, so we won't complete those quite yet. In this walkthrough, we are going to grab every single dragon, every single gem, every single dragon egg, every single skill point, and every single achievement. So... Oh, I look forward to it. I'm so excited. I love this game. I love the original. I actually did a walkthrough on the PS1, but that's going to be retired now because this is officially, in my opinion, the the best way to play this game, the definitive way. So with that all being said and done, I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we're going to explore Dark Hollow and get the skill point here in um, the Artisan Homeworld and basically explore most of the Artisan Homeworld, actually. So... Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and to consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. It's appreciated. You can also follow me on Twitter for updates. My name is Brian. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.